Billions of robocalls are clogging the cell phones of Americans every year, and the problem is getting worse. So what are the wireless phone companies doing about it? Money editor John Delano has the latest. It's a problem every one of us has felt. Some 48 billion, that's billion, robocalls targeted American phones in 2018. The robocall problem is out of control. Unwanted robocalls jam up consumers' phone lines when they're expecting important calls, such as from their doctors. They wake up night shift workers when they're trying to sleep during the day. And many of these robocalls are coming from scammers. Maureen Mahoney, a policy analyst with Consumer Reports, says that nearly half of the robocalls are coming from scam artists often out of the country. And they can be difficult to track down um, because they often engage in caller ID spoofing in which they input incorrect caller ID information to trick the consumer um, and also makes it harder to track them down. While they ignore the do not call registry, wireless phone companies have made some efforts to help consumers block these calls. So no current solution is perfect in addressing these calls, but there are steps that consumers can take. AT&T has a free app called Call Protect. Um, T-Mobile has a free app for uh, cell phones as well. Verizon has said that it's going to be rolling out a free app um, by the end of the week. I recommend that you um, ask your phone provider what free solutions they have. Verizon is just the latest and some of the blocking tools it used to charge customers for will now be free. Mahoney says there is no justification for any wireless company to charge consumers to block spam. Consumers pay so much for their phone service already, they shouldn't have to pay more in order to address the robocall problem. Which is why everyone needs to contact members of Congress and the Federal Communications Commission to require all phone companies to implement stronger caller ID authentication technology. John Delano, KDKA News.